watching the Gambia Radio and Television Services, and it's time now for the news in summary. My name is Abouakar Dabo. Permanent secretaries have been scrutinizing the page implementation scorecard in Kanilai six months after the launching of the development blueprint. The meeting that closed on Friday came up with a number of recommendations on various development issues that have a bearing on the effective functioning of ministries. The National Assembly has adopted and ratified the Turco-Gambia Parliamentary Friendship Association and the Ivory Coast Gambia Parliamentary Association. The statute for the establishment of a standards and meteorology institute for the harmonization of standards among members of the Organization of Islamic Countries also went through the same process. The former Chief of Defense Staff, Lang Tombong Tamba, and six others sentenced to death by the High Court are seeking to append the verdict at the Supreme Court of the Gambia. Nifty ICT Solutions has, in partnership with the U.S. database giant Oracle, organized a seminar for staff of public institutions, telecommunication companies, and other movers in the local ICT industry. Participants were briefed on an array of ICT solutions capable of transforming businesses and public institutions. The Ministerial Committee under the Chairmanship of the Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Mamoru Tangara, on Monday presided over the National Forum on the Year of Science, Technology and Innovation. The first National Consultative Forum held on Monday attracted regional authorities. 68 young men and women on Saturday graduated from Inside Training Center after completing diploma programs in various fields. The 12th graduation ceremony was held at Inside Training Center's St. Joe Complex. And in news from beyond our borders, ECOWAS mediator Blessed Kampawari has held talks with representatives of Ansar Din for the first time. The hour-long meeting in Ouagadougou saw the adoption of a strategy for a negotiated settlement of the political crisis that saw the Islamist wrest control of parts of northern Mali from government troops, and Saladin wants to turn the territory it controls into an Islamic enclave. Washington and Moscow have for the first time jointly frowned on the spiraling violence in Syria. Presidents Obama and Putin demanded an end to the violence on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Mexico. Both leaders agreed that a political process has to be created to prevent a full-fledged civil war. You can follow those stories on the GRTS programs live on our website at www.grts.gm. There you can also monitor GRTS Radio Live. That brings us to the end of the news in summary, also bringing us to the close down of transmission. Thanks for the pleasure of your company and do have a pleasant morning.